Hello people of the web and YouTube, Tim and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up OTG on the PS Classic properly. Now with that said, not to confuse any of you, the previous video on OTG is 100% accurate. All I did was go over the hardware and show you how to hook up the hardware to the PS Classic. However, with this video, this is going to be how you set up the software and how you get it all to run. Now for the purposes of this video we're going to be using Auto Bleem again, however Bleem Sync does come with the new kernel files for the PS Classic as well. But with that said I figured I'd do Auto Bleem, that way if you guys don't feel like modifying the internals of your PS Classic you can still run mods in some compatibility. However today I'm going to be showing you guys how to modify the internals of the PS Classic and install our new Linux drivers to, well Linux kernel to the PS Classic itself. To do this, it's very simple. You just gotta set up a flash drive the same way you would normally for AutoBleam. Download the latest AutoBleam, extract it to the root of the flash drive, label the flash drive Sony, and make sure it's FAT32 in format, then plug it into the PS Classic. Once the flash drive is in, we want to then power up our PS Classic. It may take a few minutes to load in all the games if you have some games transferred already onto your flash drive. But when it's all loaded up, you just want to hit start and then hit select twice, I believe. You want to navigate to the app section of our, well, homebrew on our PS Classic. When you're in the app section, all you got to do is navigate to something called kernel installer. From here, we want to click on that. Read the instructions carefully here, that way you don't mess yourself up. And when it finally loads up after you hit X again to initiate the tool, you will then want to hit square. Make sure you got space on your flash drive because essentially we're going to be backing up what is in essence our PS Classics firmware as well as its kernels and games and all the files basically. We're going to be backing that up to the flash drive. That way if anything goes wrong during the flashing step we can then recover our console. And speaking of recovery, if you used Bleem Sync up until now and are switch switching over to Auto Bleem, I recommend reflashing the stock PS Classic image in case you've already altered the internal one. You want a fresh start when installing Auto Bleem. But yeah, with that said, once um, Auto Bleem is done backing up, it took me around 10 to 15 minutes, you then want to hit kernel installer again and basically flash the kernel over this time by hitting X. Now this step should be quick and when it's done it will power off your PS Classic after telling you to remove the power cord and plugging it back in. However, I went a step further, I just went straight away unplugged my power cord and hooked up my OTG cable and my flash drive to the back of the console itself. And then I turned it on. Now to know that you actually did everything right, the auto bleam menu should pop up. If you did everything wrong or something went wrong during the flashing procedure, auto bleam will not pop up in OTG mode. Now as you can see everything indeed worked and if I were to hook up a USB hub to the back of my PS Classic now I can then plug in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and all the Linux kernel add-ons should work flawlessly. But for now, I just hooked my games up to the back of the console and all the homebrew using the flash drive. And from there, I decided to test out the compatibility with my games. I decided to run a quick two-player game. And as you guys can probably see on screen, it indeed is working and both controllers do function as intended. Also, all the shortcuts from the previous generation of AutoBleam are the same. You can hit select and triangle to, well, exit or quick save your game like usual. But yeah guys, that's basically it. Uh, some things I'd suggest after modding the console and testing it out a bit, I suggest turning it off, plugging your flash drive into your computer, and copying off the one new file that the PS Classic put on the flash drive. I'll have the, the file name on screen now, that way you guys know what you're looking for. You essentially want to back this up. Make sure you don't lose this file in case you ever want to update or swap over to a different modding tool such as Bleem Sync or vice versa. Anyway, that is it. I'm gonna go game now on my PS Classic and leave this video off here. DTPK signing off. Peace. So, okay, to actually hook it up, you get your power cord from the PlayStation Classic, you unplug it from the console, and then you... Now, I've already mentioned it, but this program works with the TensorFlow, so you can...